this is Freelancer, and I'm starting a game in Mountain Blade Warband with the Persistent Troop Identities mod. Um, so yeah, here's our background. And uh, yeah, so uh, kind of the idea is we're going to be like a somewhat more of a commoner in the Serenids. Uh, instead of being a lord, and so this is where the Persistent Troop Identities mod is going to come in, uh, because uh, because with it, so all of the people that we recruit from the villages, uh, they're going to have names, they're going to have their stats tracked. So basically we're going to try to focus around one village area, and uh, so here we are trying to create uh, Rashid, and I... Yeah, so I'm not narrating this uh, as I'm playing this because um, it just let me focus on setting things up a little bit. So yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I don't go on with this too long. Anyways, so we'll be able to recruit people and they'll have names. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to pick them all from about the same one or two villages uh, you'll see. So I was originally intending to do one village, but then um, due to circumstances that we will see, ended up focusing on a different one. And so basically we're going to try to take a bunch of guys who are from the same village as like quote unquote we are. Uh, I think that's the face I settled on, the different hair maybe. Hey, it looks like it. Okay, so here we are. So yeah, I'm playing. Going to be playing with everything fairly difficult. So damage is going to be real or at normal for both uh, myself and allies. Um, blocking direction is manual, so it won't auto block the directions and. Uh, there's no targeting reticle, so if I try to shoot something, I have to, uh, I have to do it by, like, there's, they won't have, like, the, it won't show me where I'm going to shoot. So, it takes some getting used to. Actually, the first time I did that was in, um, Britain Walda, and so I think, I think, yes, yeah, so this is the first village I looked at. So, what I think is going to happen is I'm going to miss a lot of the first shots when I get a bow because in Brittenwalda the um, where the arrow goes in relation to where the arrowhead and the bow are held is a little bit different than in uh, normal mountain blade. So here's an example. These are the guys we picked up from the first village. And uh, yeah, so what this kind of does is it it makes you a little more attached to the to the units. They're not just random nameless peasants who you throw into the meat grinder and hope turn out into mamluks or whatever. So yeah, so I'm going to go, I think, outfit myself because I remembered I have no gear and I don't want to quite be a peasant. I want to look like the dudes that I'm going to recruit. I'm going to level them up a little bit. So there will be some cheating. Yeah, I will level some of the initial guys up a little bit because I don't want to start again with a bunch of silly peasants. I think I just turned them into footmen initially. And uh, there's a little bit of... I guess role playing involved. So uh, we'll have like a cohesive storyline and I will elaborate on that as we go. So anyways, um, in relation to the bow, where the arrow goes is more like directly above the arrowhead uh, when we get to it, as opposed to Britain Walda, it's above and left. So I end up like just launching a bunch of shots off wide left in the beginning which is not ideal, but I eventually kind of get the hang of it. And so, yeah, so I'm giving myself kind of standard Serenid infantry gear. I won't look a whole lot more equipped than my dudes. Took the crossbow off too, I guess. Um, I think I was thinking about maybe doing um, throwing, throwing weapons. But, uh, yeah, so I think it's actually Debane that we end up going to a lot. And I, so generally what I do to start these, uh, I think I'm going to be starting another campaign. Um, I'll probably be narrating that one in real time, though. So it may actually get posted first. 
but uh, this is I, I did a practice run and it, it didn't turn out well. Um, I also didn't narrate it, so I would have to do this again, which is kind of a lot of work. And uh, the way it ended, which reminds me, I'll need to explain my rules for this personal rules. So, uh, just like the normal units with their names can die, this character can die too. If he gets knocked unconscious, I get a freebie. Um, and and uh, I'll, I'll get into that also. I get one, like, oh, you're just knocked unconscious, whatever. And then after that, if he gets knocked unconscious, I have to flip a coin, and if it's head, he lives. If it's tails, he dies. So uh, instead of just saying, like, YOLO, I'm going to go in because it doesn't matter if I die, I can take a few guys out and be knocked unconscious. Nope, that could be the end of it, so I have to play a little more carefully. That being said... I will do some save scumming and stuff if, uh, like, I just am not paying attention and get, like, murdered by 400 dudes at once or something. Or, like, I have six peasants and the sea raiders run out of the fog of war and attack me because I'm traveling really far. If I'm just being stupid, that's on me. Like, if I tackle the last playthrough ended, I ended up trying to raid a village and uh, I got curb stomped by, like, 200... 200. I think it was the Serenades, actually. So yeah, we're going to... This is what's going on. We're going to train the peasants to defend themselves and uh, recruit some of them as well. Can't recruit any of them, so we'll just kind of chill for now. And then, uh, yeah, so these settings are actually pretty important. So this lets the troops pick up stuff from the specific units they kill because the mod tracks that as well. So, like, say, I don't remember. There's a guy, I don't know if we have him yet. His name is Salah. Say Salah kills a Kurgit horseman. He can uh, he can take everything. He can take the horse, the guy's bow, the weapon. Like, because he's probably just got stupid peasant clothes, right? But if he kills that horseman, then he'll get all of the dude's stuff, which is pretty cool. Yeah, although I do also, yeah, so sometimes I'll have to reload because if I, sometimes if you upgrade too many troops at once or something, I haven't quite figured this out yet, uh, it'll disband them and replace them with new guys, it's just like too much for the script to handle at once or something like that. But anyways, here we are, so we're going to fight another peasant. And see, so there's the, uh, the manual, the manual blocking. <laughs> I'm usually pretty pretty decent at it one on one, but uh, otherwise it's, it's a bit hit and miss, you know. And I think I actually didn't want this. There's there's a fair chance that I'm gonna restart actually the recording here. Um, because I was building up this character's backstory in my mind, so he's probably come back from some military training. And uh, oh, maybe I did. Maybe I did this well, actually. Oh, you know what? This this is not going to turn out well. So, anyways, we'll just keep going. So, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to train them again. I'm going to not have enough guys, and I'm probably just going to get murdered. I think. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, this is what's going to happen. So we'll, uh, <laughs> I'm, and I'm also not going to count it as the freebie because it's so incredibly early on. Basam Galib Kuse. Okay, yeah, so depending on when I saved it, we'll have those guys around. what we wanted to click. So we're going to train the peasants, and then I believe at the end of this one, I wasn't prepared for it, but that's when the bandits are going to come, and like we've basically got nothing, so we're going to get get murdered. So I'll just uh, or maybe it's even one more. Oh, yep, there's some super good blocking there. Yeah, so 
yeah, this is the problem. So this is why we're till at, still at, till, I forget what this place is called, honestly, Tillamasil. But uh, we'll be over at Devane next, and actually it was quite lucky because they gave an identical mission. We'll train the peasants, and I like that village a lot more too. There's like an oasis in the middle of it. It's nice. Looks a lot nicer than this one, so... So, <clears throat> this is when I thought to myself, well, I don't even think I'd upgraded my guys, because I was going to make them Serenid Footmen at least, so that was like, you know, we come back from our training, we got a party of dudes who've got like, the bare minimum armor, and some training as well to help us, but yeah, these guys are just going to get all destroyed. And then we'll see the sadness message at the end of once they kill this last dude in the corner. There he goes. Yeah, so... I look at this, and I don't know why, but yeah, so it'll tell you... It's pretty good, actually. It's pretty good um, at tracking what kills who and stuff. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna... <laughs> there it is. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and probably uh, restart it. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, mm, we'll we'll give it another go. We'll give it another go. And then after that, it's uh, it's for realsies. So, so uh, yeah, stay tuned.